Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Ghost Exile. I'm in the middle of trying to join a session, but we'll see how this one goes. Last episode we ended with uh, three games where we successfully hunted the ghost, and I'm now high enough to exercise the ghost, so let's see if we can get to that. Hello! Hello, hello! How goes it? It's going good so far. Just hopped in the game. We're ready to get our heart attacks on. Are you here? Are you child? What level are you guys? What? All right. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. We just, uh, we started it last night. What level are you? Yeah, level three. Have you bought the book yet? Yeah. We bought the book last night, yep, yep. I'm ready. Yeah. Ready, ready. I'm ready when you are. We're still getting the aspect of the game down, so try not to mind us going on beginner right from the beginning here. Just still getting used to it oh yeah no i was doing expert last night uh my first run trying to exercise the ghost and holy crap Stay safe on your hunt. <laughs> yeah yeah this is gonna be fun yay so have you guys tried to exercise the ghost yet uh no we've got the book and everything last night then you know the heart attack started setting in so, yeah. we, so there's I a couple to, of steps. So it. like you got to find its trigger item. You got to bring it out of the house and burn it in this stove before you can even start the ritual. Man, it took me like four minutes to get one log in there until I figured it out. Just crouch down, throw it in. That was kind of hilarious. Same thing I said last night is, uh, yeah, I only make about $50, $80 off these successfully. But how the hell... Did I afford to put down a concrete pad on somebody's private property just to put up a tent? This is ridiculous. I'd be pissed off as a homeowner. Right? Like, oh, you actually have my ghost? Here's $150. Here you go. Need zero sanity for the whole team. Stun the ghost while doing the hunt. Draw an active sign in the ghost's favorite room. Okay. All right, so I'm going to grab up my normal here, temperature, uh, EMF reader, Boop. one of the infrared sound bars things. I brought a floodlight. I always put it at the door because some of these houses you get lost in real quick. Where are you? Where are you? Power's on. Power's on if you hear me and you're not next to me. Tip more. Where are you? Uh, motion detectors at the base of the stairs and 
probably one further upstairs. Where are you? I'm at the stairs at the bottom. It's of the in the stairs. garage. I see it. Like, it's up my butt right now. Yeah, it was in the garage with me. Where are you? Are you child? Are you child? We got freezing temps at 30.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Just right here in the hallway? Yeah, it's right here. Oh yeah, you got the fog coming off your breath. Where are you? How old are you? How old are you? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, I don't think it's good. Oh, God. I'm gonna go change my pants. That motherfucker jumped right in my face, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, the room of dead bodies. Where are you? Are you child? How old are you? Alright, so we find out what room it's favorite is. Somebody let me know. I'll get the spray paint and put it down. Are you child? Are you in How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Are you a child? How old are you? How old are you? Are you a child? How old are you? Are you child? I got the salt pile down in the front of that closet area. Hopefully it'll go in there. How old are you? Do we have any evidence other than freezing? All right, so apparently it's upstairs with him. He got an EMF five. Yeah, he's got an EMF five right now. Ten four. It's either a gin right, or a mining. Yep, we're down to two left.
So we need ghostwriting or voice recorder. Both of them are in the house. I know I should have seen. Alright, so I've got that Magnetron device and it's showing me where it's at. It's right down here, downstairs, going back. Well, yeah, it's downstairs. Where do you get the EMF 5? Upstairs. Where are you? Just being stretched. Are you child? Just breathing down the hall. How old are you? Hey, we got voice recorder of evidence. That thing is crying. And it's growling. Doors are opening. Yeah, we got voice recorder evidence. I don't think it's the most community ghost, so I'll try to draw your attention by all means. Alright, so we need to check all the drawers for the trigger items and try and burn it before we start the right. We also need the passport for his name. Mic check real quick. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright, copy that. Alright, so we didn't walk through the salt pile um, in that room, so I'm going to take this other thing of salt and I'm going to put it at the top of the stairs where this thing seems to be walking up and down. Okay, I'm going to go on an artifact hunt. Copy that.
copy. We got a locked drawer up top. I think it's probably going to be in one of the bedrooms upstairs down the hall to the left. I found a compass, I'm gonna go try and burn it because it did not like when I picked it up. Has anybody found a lighter? Oh, I don't know if this artifact would be you. it, but yeah, I see I see the compass right here in the drawer. No lighter's been found yet. That's so nice. Thanks, man. <laughs> they stepped through the salt at the top of the stairs. I have acquired the lighter. Come back down the hall, brother. We got the lighter down here. I got the lighter on me. Um, the compass is right down that way. Have we found door. a passport yet? Yeah, he found the passport. All right, let's go burn both of these compasses and hopefully we can start the exorcism. All right, we'll just have to pick up the other compass on the way out. It's right there to your left. No, it's over here with me. Come back this way. Oh my god. Uh, right here. Got it. Let's go. Alright, dude. She's crawling up, like, on her hands and knees like a damn spider. That's, that's creepy enough. You know, light fire. Uh, nope, not tab. So how how do you know if it's the wrong item that we're burning? It won't make a noise. Uh, light it again. All right, apparently there's another item in the house. So her name's Scarlet Brown. All right, we got to go find one more item. It's probably either going to be a gun or like a heart locket. Or there's like this fish totem looking thing. Uh, how do we open up the locked drawers? Because uh, we found two locked uh, drawers in, upstairs. <sighs> Yeah, there's supposed to be keys, but uh, even in the games I found keys, it does uh, you can't even pick them up. Hey, he's got a bracelet on him he just found. I don't know if we want to burn that. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, just light the stove and then crouch and throw it in.
You gotta light the stove first. Well, I think we found it. That's it. Now we can start. Um, hold on, let me get the right book and then I'll tell you what we need to set up. So, we need the Rite of Astalor. We need three ritual candles and one rune. They're all on this table. The runes are the little rock things and then three of the candles. And then whoever's got the lighter is going to have to light the candles. Oh, fuck. I know, buddy. All right, he's got the three candles. I got the two stones. Okay, so how this works is I'm going to have to stand in the thing and I'll read out of the book, but there's going to be these things called portals open. They'll be like these little red clouds. You have to run up to the cloud and chant close, like close the door. And then eventually it'll close itself and I can continue the right. Or it'll blow out the candles and you have to relight the candles or it can hunt during the ceremony. Oh shit, okay. Oh. That's, that's great. Single of Zeth. This is great. This game. Yeah, this, this, is, this game is great. <gasps> we did both. There's Ouija boards, right? You say? Nah, uh, if, you if you want to light the candles. Alright, well, what do we do with the stones and whatnot? Oh, just click, uh, is either E or F and it'll place them. Things don't sound too happy right now. Oh no, it's gonna get a whole lot worse. Ah, uh, fun. Yeah, if you look at the circle and press E, it'll... Oh, what is going up on my screen? It's all clear. All clear. She's just trying to spook everyone. I felt like I was having a seizure. Oh. No, she's not. No, she's not. Get back in your. Get back in your closet. Get back in your closet. She tried to get me right there at the counter. Okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, whoever's got the candles on the rock, just press E, like crouch down and press E on the thing, and it'll place them. What's her name? What's the ghost name? Yeah, hit your tab button. It's Scarlet Brown. Scarlet? Yeah. Yeah, copy that. Scarlet Brown. Is there, isn't there a way Scarlet we can put Brown. Protection? God commands you. Fear the church of God. We pray you, God. We won't let you, Dark Serpent. Deceive the human race. Deceive the human race. All right, there's a portal open. Follow the cloud and uh, just chant close near it. Right, like we're a bunch of crazy maniacs. Close. 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 Back to the sigil. Not 
Scarlet Brown. In the name of God, get out. Exiled. How do you like the incense? If you have the light lighter, it should be E. Bro, now that being a ghost hunter looks cool now. In this game. Alright, you can take us home. Uh shouldn't it'll lit up the perform an exile ritual green? No, it doesn't ever light up. Okay. On, hey, did we ever figure out what kind of ghost it was? Yeah, it's a myling. Yeah. All right, give him a second to choose a myling. Yes, buddy. All right, here we go. Time to go home. Don't forget to subscribe, Sam Go. Beboo, one fifty. Hell yeah! All right, so uh, we got another one joining us here in a second. Actually, I gotta pop out. Thanks for the games, guys. Yeah, brother. Thanks for teaching us how to do the ritual. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's best with at least two people because the one person, it gets a little tricky, especially if he starts blowing out all the candles. All right, take it easy, Bubba. You too, man. All right, guys. Sorry for such a short stream, but baby woke up from a nap early. I'll see you on the next one.